have locks in here, and then like, well, I don't want my hair like you, or like her. <laughs> my name is Rosa. I was always interested in style and fashion as a kid. Um, I think as a kid, I would have liked to be a fashion designer. I grew up in the Bronx, and I had a newborn baby, and I was actually living in New Hampshire, and I didn't want to go back to the city with the baby. Um, my daughter is 17. She's out of the house, pretty much grown up, so now this is my baby. I actually took over the space from a previous owner. I worked here for two years, and... She was burnt out, looking to get out of the business, so it was either she was going to close the salon or I take over. I technically bought the business for a dollar. All the furniture is new. The walls were white. Music is different. We get a lot of creatives, a lot of musicians, artists, writers. What everyone kind of has in common is they're real. Because we have clients from 2 to 82. But there's a certain type of person who isn't comfortable, and then there's a certain type of person that isn't comfortable in other salons, but is very comfortable here. I think they come in here and we're not overly styled. Every hair is in place. Everyone I work with is really fun and creative, and it just it feels good to be around everyone that works here and all our clients. I don't even feel like I'm working.